Hello everybody, it's Pal Pal One here, and today I'm going to cover Sign Engine Mod 11. Windows Phone is finally getting an Instagram app, and Nokia making an Android device. Let's get into that. Okay, so Sign Engine Mod 11 was just released a couple of days ago, and it is now available running off of the newest version of Android, that is KitKat 4.4, and it is going to run on all your Nexus devices. All your Google made devices for the most part it's gonna run on the Google Nexus 4, 5, 7, and 10. So yeah, we can call it the Nexus edition for now. And it's gonna support other devices such as the HTC One Google Edition and the Samsung Galaxy S4 down the road through its nightlies. It is expected to be a bit buggy since it's only a milestone one. They've got a lot of you know incremental bugs to fix and it is going to collect all those through all its reports. It's going to take all its reports and it's going to stuff them into a cabinet and it's going to make it into a better software. Soon we'll get a milestone 2, 3, 4, 7, 11, bam. But since Google has provided the hardware code for the KitKat software, it should run smoothly enough. If you didn't know what Silent Mod was, a lot of features that are not in the stock firmware, you can see them here. You can overclock your CPU, you can underclock it for massive battery savings. You can run applications you aren't supposed to, rooted applications, file managers, say you want to play a FLAC file. And since Google gave SignEngine Mod the code, I was thinking to myself, why doesn't Apple do something like that? They gave the code to a person that's going to mod their software and ultimately make it better to the user that knows what he's doing and likes to customize. And there you are. Oh no. Oh no, they came out with another jailbreak. Gotta patch it as soon as possible. Don't want them to have freedom to be able to do whatever they want. You can't have customization. No, that's the devil. You gotta have the iPhone the way they want you to have the iPhone, or else jailbreaking. Oh, it's such a bad thing to Apple. But I'm just saying, Apple shouldn't be covering up the exploits. They should just let them be and let the customization run free. The more freedom you give your people, and the happier you make them, the more they want to come back and use and use your software and use your hardware in return. And all you Nokia 1020 users running the Windows Phone experience and you were looking for a place to put your pictures and you didn't want to use that third party Instagram app, well Instagram has finally came out with a solution for you. And although Instagram did go on the record to say that you can't take pictures from the app, you actually can. Although you cannot take videos from the app itself, you can take pictures at least. It is a beta version so bugs and glitches are expected and more features probably to be added as well coming up with video they just have to get it through all the process so it can compete with the ios and the android versions what do you think about them putting a choppy version of instagram up does it matter to you or are you just happy to have the instagram app and to all you people that wanted a nokia phone but didn't want the windows experience to be bundled in with it well that day has come for you as long as you like android Nokia is finally making an Android phone codenamed Normandy, and this phone is going to be running a special fork variation of Android that is not in line with Google's version. It's going to have a similar firmware to the Amazon Kindle Fire line. And various sources say that it is an Asha variant because it is missing many things like a flash and capacitive buttons. Form factor wise, it's going to look like a Nokia Lumia, but inside it's going to have the internals, the pricing, and the firmware of an Asha, which really cuts a lot of the corners that you normally see in a normal smartphone, just so they can have a smartphone for something like 60, 70 bucks. Now you're not gonna get the best screen or the best anything in this phone. Yeah, it's just a low cost, low end smartphone alternative. And lastly, I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers for coming to watch all my stuff every day and every week and every month, because I've made it to 100 videos on YouTube I hope to reach two and three and four and a thousand videos. I'm sure it'll come one day, but it's all possible with the help of you guys who watch my videos and make it all worth it. Even if five people watch my video, then it was worth it. I help five people, and that's the reason I do it. To help people, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned today, please put them in the comment section down below and I will answer them. If you like this content, then you like, subscribe for the latest in tech, share me. I'll see you later. Peace.